Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant are struggling with yet another problem. They found contaminated water leaking from a tank inside a new filtering system. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company say they discovered the leak during an inspection on Saturday. TEPCO has been testing the filtering system since March. It can remove almost all radioactive materials. The officials say the leak occurred in the welded section of a storage tank that holds radioactive water. They say the water has dripped into a pan below, but has not leaked outside of the filtering system. Contaminated water has been building up at the plant at a rate of hundreds of tons per day. TEPCO wants to use the new system to decontaminate it, but it has halted tests to investigate the cause of the leak. Environment ministry officials in Japan are turning to experts for advice on their plan to store dirt and other contaminated debris uh, contaminated by the 2011 nuclear accident. Workers have been removing topsoil from the ground in Fukushima in their effort to decontaminate the area. Now, the government plans to construct intermediate storage facilities in three towns near the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The debris will be kept there until final disposal sites are built. But some residents are against the idea because they're concerned about high levels of radiation. In response, the Environment Ministry is assembling panels of experts to confirm the safety of the plan. Geologists will check the ground under the site to make sure it's stable. The experts will also give advice on the structure of the facilities as well as safety measures. Another panel of experts will discuss how to conserve the environment around the sites. The panels will hold their first meetings before the end of the month. Japanese researchers say fish caught in waters off the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant absorbed large amounts of radioactive cesium immediately after the accident, rather than gradually accumulating the material over time. We concluded that the fish absorbed cesium in large quantities shortly after the nuclear accident in March 2011. Last August, the operator of the plant detected radioactive cesium at 380 times the government safety standard in a single rock trout. A fish was caught about one kilometer off the coast of Minami Soma City, Fukushima Prefecture. Researchers at the National Research Institute of Fisheries Science analyzed an organ called the ear stone to pinpoint the precise time when the fish absorbed the radioactive cesium. The technique is reliable because the organ is known to grow in layers like growth rings in a tree. They found the highest level of radioactivity in the layer formed between the spring and summer of 2011. Watanabe says he expects the level of radioactive cesium to decrease gradually in fish in the area. Well, wine experts in Japan put their senses to work to judge some of this year's whites. They gathered in one of the country's largest wine producing regions. The event featured 87 offerings from 29 wineries in central Yamanashi Prefecture. Nine judges examined each entry. They checked for flavor, aroma and color and gave scores on a scale of 1 to 5. This year's wines all have fruity aromas and deep flavors. I'm sure everyone will enjoy them. Eighty-five of the wines received an official endorsement. They will go on sale later this month at local wineries and tourist centers. The Japanese government wants people abroad to think the country is cool in the cultural sense, that is. Ron Madison has the latest on a special bill passed to promote this concept, Ron. Yeah, yeah that's right. I think uh, plenty of people already around the world think that Japan is uh, pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, the, what lawmakers want to do is uh, give some businesses more incentives uh, to promote things like uh, manga and J-pop. Japanese cuisine, also a pretty popular gene around the world. Now, lawmakers uh, have passed a bill to better promote Japanese pop culture abroad. This legislation will help to finance companies involved that operate globally. Under the bill enacted on Wednesday, a public-private sector entity will be set up later this year. The government will hold at least 50 percent in the entity. The newly formed organization will underline government plans to capitalize on the international appeal of Japanese culture as one of the pillars of its economic growth plan. Companies that qualify for the financial assistance include those providing online distribution of Japanese animation and movies, as well as firms that sell related products. Also covered will be businesses that, for example, operate restaurants that serve Japanese food or offer Japanese brand 
clothing retailers and commercial centers overseas. Two survivors of the Hiroshima atomic bombing have been updating the historical records. They've been adding names to the list of victims of the attack on their city. It's an annual practice ahead of the August 6th anniversary of the 1945 bombing. This year, they'll add 3,234 names. More than 280,000 people are already registered as atomic bomb victims. Kazuko Ikegame and Nobuko Nakamoto are writing the names and dates of death of newly identified victims and of survivors who died in the past year. Ikegame has been in charge of the list for the past 24 years. Many people have died in the 68 years since the bombing. I want to write their names with sincerity. The revised list will be placed inside the cenotaph at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park during the anniversary ceremony.